Hi there, this is Chris Morrell from Inspector Pages, and today I'm going to be talking about how to customize the look and feel of your site. This is part one of a three-part series, so we're going to talk about some of the basics today, and we'll get into some more advanced topics in future videos. So to start, let's take a look at our website as it is right now. This is pretty much what every website looks like on Inspector Pages when you first load it up before you've made any customizations. So there are a few things that we're going to want to change on this page. Um, and because we're talking about site design, we're just going to skip the content of the page and just talk about the things that are sort of universal to every page on the site. So for example, this image here, uh, the tagline, the title of the site, and it, the site tagline here, contact information, um, your image, your picture of yourself, and some of this information down in the footer. And as you can see, as we go to other pages on the site, all of that stuff remains the same. It's really just the content that changes from page to page. So to start, let's go back into the admin system, and we're going to do this in three steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the title of our site. So that's under settings, under general settings. Um, and I'm just going to change this to uh, my fake company name, Demo in Inspections. And we're going to give Demo Inspections a tagline. Um, this is a fake company in Philadelphia, so I'm just going to call it the, the best <laughs> inspections in Philly. So once we've done that, we can go down here and hit Save Changes. And if we look at our site, you can see right away that even in the back end, even in the admin system, it's changed the name of your site. And when we go in here, you can see that the, the name of the company is changed, our tagline is here, and also up at the top, the title of the page has changed. It changes your, your company name pretty much everywhere. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go into the site design section. And in here, there are a few different things that we can talk about. As you can see, Inspector Pages has over a hundred themes right now to choose from, and um, we keep on adding new themes as we come up with them. So in here, you could go through and you could pick, um, try different themes that you might like. You can hit the preview link, and that's going to load up a preview of what your site might look up like in that um, theme. If you like it, you can hit this activate button up in the corner. Or if you want to look at something else, just hit the little X to close it out. And we can go and preview another theme. Uh, I believe there are about eight pages of themes right now. Um, for right now, I'm just going to stick with the default theme. I really like it. I think it's, it's quite nice and it's very good for a home inspector. So we're just going to stick with that. So the next thing is we're going to customize this theme a little bit. We're going to go into theme options and in here, we're going to change a few things. We'll change the uh, phone number so that if people want to call us, it'll be prominently displayed on the site. That's something that you definitely want to do. Um, we'll also change the tagline. Move in with confidence. And let's see here. We changed the name of our company, so let's change the description here. Demo Inspections is an internationally certified home inspection company. Yeah, that's fine for right now. And we'll save these changes. And now when we go back to our site, you can see that the phone number is prominently displayed on the site. Our um, text up here has changed. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that this now says demo inspections where I changed that. So the last thing that we're going to do, oh uh, no, actually there are two things. So the next thing we want to do is change this image to something that um, reflects our company. Often you're going to find that that's your logo, but maybe you have something else that you want to put there. Um, so we're just going to go back to site design and to change header image. And in here, it'll show you the current image that you're using and you can just choose a new file. I um, I already set up a little logo, so we're just going to use that and hit upload. Now, if you had an image that wasn't the exact right size for the space that's allowed in the, um, the theme, then you could use these little handles on the corners 
to um, drag around your selection. You can grab the selection and you can resize it. Um, you could just create a brand new selection um, and, and choose the space in the image that you want to use. I, um, I uploaded an image that was already sized to be right, so I'm just going to select the whole image and then hit the crop header button. And you can see we've uploaded our new image. So now all I have to do is go back to the site and voila, now we have our logo in the, the upper right hand corner. It's looking pretty good. The last thing that we're going to do today is add a picture of ourselves here. This is something that uh, a lot of people really like to see an image, a picture of the inspector that they're going to hire. So um, we've made this space here for you to upload your own picture. Um, you, you can always turn that off and that's something that I'll get into in another tutorial. But for today, um, that is called your site avatar and it's under settings. So we're going to go over to settings and click on site avatar. And we're going to go ahead and choose a file. In this case, I'm going to use an image that I often use as my, um, my avatar on websites. So I'm going to upload this picture. And now here you can see that picture is way too big for the space um, that, that our avatar is taking. So we have this little box that's already the right size for me. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to select um, the area that I want to show in my picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Crop Image. And you can see now my new avatar is up. And if I go to the website, there it is. So in just a few minutes, we've really customized a lot of the look and feel of this website. We changed the logo. We changed a couple different taglines, the company name. We uploaded our, uh, our phone number and a couple of images. And we changed the, the text in the footer. In uh, the next, uh, next couple of tutorials, we're going to talk about managing your menu and also managing the widgets on your page, which are separate little things that let you add extra bits of content to your site. For example, different logos like the InterNACHI logo and some links to articles and stuff like that. Um, but that's something I'll get to in another tutorial. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on inspectorpages.com and uh, enjoy.